it so oh man all right what's good everybody how's everybody doing how's everybody doing today show your love show your love everybody all right all right all right all right oh and i got this yeah. on a little flipped a little bit uh let me <laughs> let me change a few things here there we go there we go everything's all good now everything look right. everything looks good everything looks right now what's good everybody <laughs> what's good with everybody ice man prime y'all the moment you've all been waiting for welcome to another episode of chilling out uh today it's a special edition we're gonna be talking about cosplay and i couldn't think of any better than two badass uh, ladies here who Hello. are into cosplay uh to my right Fatima, Miss Fatima Rosaria, y'all know her. Y'all, y'all, y'all see her. Y'all see her. Uh, get her a uh, She-Hulk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> her She-Hulk and stuff on. But y'all show your love for Miss Fatima Rosaria. <laughs> and right next to her is a fellow Persona Five uh, fan girl, and <laughs> also professional cosplayer, Miss Lin, Lin Infinity. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I see Sean. I see you in the chat. I see Miss Bunny Senpai herself, Jolly Bunny. Hello, hello. Uh, who else do I see? Alice, I see you. I see you first episode. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. So, uh, Jolly Bunny, hey. Sorry, hey, I just Hi. Was, that was her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all love we all love Jolly Bunny here. We all, we all love Bunny Senpai, Jolly Bunny. So, um, as we all do on our on our previous shows, uh, if you guys have any questions for, hey, there's my good friend Curious Rockstar herself. Just be a love for the Curious Rockstar. I see you. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. But it's not about me. It's it's about these two awesome ladies here. Oh, oh, oh right there. There we go. So about all of us, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So. Sorry, I'm on mobile. Jolly, it's all good. It's all good. So, uh, my two mods here. Um, if if you guys uh mind, don't mind facilitating the chat a little bit, because I will likely forget. I will likely forget to. Um, I'll let you will miss chat. Forget a few things. Uh, so. All right. So um, I guess we can get start. We'll get started here. Um, I guess bottom. If you want to introduce yourself a little bit, give us a little little background. A little spiel. Okay, hi guys, I'm Fatima. Um, that's actually how you pronounce my name, but some oh. people can't say it, so Fatima is fine. Um, Rosarium is actually my middle name in Latin. My actual middle name is Del Rosario, so I just use Rosarium as my username now. So, oh. um, I'm a personal trainer and a nutritionist. I like to do most of my work online, so I work with people um, in person and online, but my bread and butter is online. I love to do it there. Um, and I'll, of course, I cosplay. That's why I'm here. It's a hobby that I do. And it's a way for me to express myself. I actually used to be an artist and a photographer. And I burnt out. So if you're an artist, you know how that is. So now that I'm here doing cosplay, I kind of mix in um, the photography with that as well. And I'm taking it slow because I'm not trying to burn out, you guys. <laughs> hey respectable understandable with, with that you don't want to do too much at the same time and you know bring yourself out with all that all right lynn floor is yours hello everybody hi my name is lynn infinity aka lynn um a little bit about me uh i am actually like, very new to the cosplay scene i started cosplaying um over quarantine back in 2020 uh it was like it was something i wanted to try and since there was all the time in the world at that time that was when i decided to jump into it found out i loved it um it probably stems from the fact that i work uh in the entertainment industry i perform for a living uh so <laughs> uh that's what i do uh kind of more like musical theater type stuff so um yeah so it's like actually probably something that maybe not a lot of my viewers know about me is that you know musical theater person so that's kind of 
when I get uh, my work in. Um, and yeah, so when I'm not working, <laughs> doing stuff, I'm usually here, uh, sometimes on Twitch as well. Um, found a fun uh, community here on Twitch. So that's also something I found out that I enjoy a lot is just hanging out here online, here on Twitch, uh, my community, the galaxy. Um, and we play games and have a wild time. So yeah, it's just a little bit about me. Hi. Nice. <laughs> That's that's awesome. So like, uh, have you? So like, when you said yeah, you work in the theater, like, like just like stage plays or? Um. Well, I. Um, sorry, collecting thoughts. So. No I'm so nervous. Um. So I have a minor in musical theater. Um. So I'm definitely using that a lot more than my major. I feel like it usually turns out like that. You know, you major in one thing, you end up doing something else completely different. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Like, always use something <laughs> always we're working on it though at some point we'll use the major at some point um but um it's more so um like stage shows um i work in uh actually theme park industry so in the entertainment and in uh, theme park industry which is how i'm using my musical theater minor so um it's a lot of the shows and stuff that happen within uh the parks so yeah oh, that's and, cool. and, oh, that's and awesome. cruise ships and cruise ships i worked on a cruise ship well, that was that was. You worked on a cruise ship. Oh wow! I did work on a yeah, I worked on a cruise ship. That was an experience. And I, I what, actually. Uh, uh, sorry, what theme parks do you? Uh, okay. It's a very very popular theme park in the Central <gasps> Florida <Disney>. area. <laughs> <sighs> I love Disney. <laughs> you did it for Disney oh, yeah. for Disney World. She yeah. Y'all show your love, show your love for Infinity. That, that, that's Pog right there. That, that's Pog right there. That's awesome. That's that's incredible. So yeah, that 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 that's where. And you said, and you say this is a, uh, and you, hey geek, what is good? But what is good? By the way, Jolly and Jojo, thank you guys for the host, Jojo, Jolly. How are y'all doing once again? Uh, and Lynn, you said you're you're new to the scene. Yeah, yeah. I started cosplaying back in 2020. Like, like I said, like during quarantine, uh, when everyone was like, you know, hey, what's TikTok? What's all this? And that's when I like kind of saw like all that stuff happening. Like, I was really big into TikTok, um, and I started cosplaying then because, like I said, it was something I wanted to try for the longest and didn't have the time to do it. And there we were. Like, no one was going anywhere. I just got off a ship. I wasn't doing anything either. So I was like, you know what? The time is now. I'm gonna try it, and I fell in love with it. So. That's awesome. It goes so well with uh, musical theater too. At least what I see from TikTok, because people are like, you know, I'm not an actor. I'm on TikTok, but I'm like dipping my toe in there. I'm like, let's see if it comes out. So like yeah. you having that major and that background, like it helps. I don't know if you are on TikTok, but if you are, I'm assuming it helps you to like do the trends and all of that. Yeah, like I, I, I was on TikTok very heavily, but like once everything kind of came back uh, open and stuff around here, I, I've been working. I barely have time to do Twitch anymore, honestly. <laughs> so I'm like, me too. <laughs> trying me to too. balance everything, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like, um, so I was streaming too, and I started during COVID. Mm -hmm. I, I started cosplaying kind of more 2018 to 2019. That's when I was like, I should do this again. Cause yeah. I, I tried to do it in high school when I was like, really really little and i grew up in a super religious family so that was like a big no-no so i remember doing this cosplay my first one was yuffie from final fantasy and i was maybe yeah i was 14 <laughs> oh. and i lived in houston at the time and in okay. houston we had um shoot what is it called matsuri con i think or mm. pony con one of those one of those is in houston i can't remember which one but I remember seeing it online and it looks like so much fun and I was like one day I'm gonna go so I'm gonna make this cosplay so I like low-key made the cosplay by telling my mom that it was just a design that I wanted to like make mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day I couldn't go because one I didn't have the money to and of course my mom would not let me go by myself so mm -hmm. after that I just kind of gave up on cosplay until 2018 I went to a comic-con in South Korea and I oh, was that's like cool. I was stationed over there because I was in the military. Oh. Um, so that's where I went and I was like, I really want to do this more. So then I started cosplaying and then streaming happened. And then um, 
I'm, I'm in fitness, I'm a bodybuilder, so I did a prep, and I don't know if you guys know, but um, dieting for a show is really, really intense sometimes, mm. and then I, I did it last year, so my streaming started to take, you know, the back burner, because I was like, yeah. either I keep streaming and I stop cosplaying, or I keep cosplaying and stop streaming, like, something had to give. Mm -hmm. I was doing, like, way too much. Yeah. So, no more streaming, for now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's a break, it's a break. <laughs> A long break. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, uh, Geek Foolish wanted me to do uh, do this this uh, DMX for five minutes. So y'all gonna, oh gonna see me talk. Y'all gonna see me all talk. Hey, hey. Yeah, you know what I know. So, Geek Foolish, I'm gonna be want me to do DMX for five. <laughs> all right. <laughs> mm. All right. So, question. First question I got for you, ladies. Is you know what got you in the basically what got you in the cosplay? Sorry, what got you in the cosplay? I guess you know, I I I thought I'm a first. You know what got you in the cosplay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this a question for Lynn first or for me? Who's going first? Fart. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, it doesn't matter. I didn't any one of you, lady. Y'all, any one of you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> What got me into cosplay? Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all remember MySpace? <laughs> yes! Oh man! Oh man, yes. MySpace, MySpace! Oh, yes, okay, I so, remember MySpace. Man, in I'm... that time, I was in middle school, and so if you guys remember, there was um, the scene, the, the emo scene, okay? So, you know, the girls with the awesome hair, I remember I wanted mm -hmm. to be just like that. But I couldn't, because religious parents, okay? Religious trauma, you guys. So, I was uh, good friends with one of those girls, and I thought she was so pretty, and I was like, oh my god, I want to be like her. But anyways, she got into um, drawing anime, and I was like, that looks like so much fun. I want to draw MySpace, the original social media platform. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So, um, I got into uh, drawing anime, and then from there, I somehow bumped into... She had told me about Deviant Art. Mm, I don't know if yep, you guys yep, remember yep. or were ever on Deviant uh -huh, Art. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. It was. I miss Deviant Art. It was such a great place for creators, photographers, editors, cosplayers. <laughs> um, so at the time, I was uploading my little shitty sketches on there, and I was like, "Oh, what's Deviant Art, right?" And then I started making friends with cosplayers, and I remember looking at their stuff and thinking, "Wow, this is so cool." Um, I really want to cosplay, but there's just no way in hell that my mom would let me. That's when mm -hmm. that story that I told you guys about how it's I low-key made the Yuffie cosplay, <laughs> but never actually went to a con. That's my first, like, legit, like, I'm doing this cosplay thing. I have pictures, and they're so bad, but I don't care. I can show them to You're you guys. Right. If there's a way for me to show them <laughs> to you guys, I totally will. They're so bad. It's so bad. But they're And it's funny, because they're on cosplay.com which is an original like cosplay social website they're still on there and i don't remember the password to that thing so somewhere out there i have a shitty cosplay wait wait wait, wait 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 so <laughs> you still got pictures on the pictures are still on cosplay.com serious on cosplay.com yes can we can we can we show that yeah we totally can i don't know how can i, can I share my screen with you or oh, you should be able you should to, be I able think. you should be know. able to okay. you know Okay, while I do this, I'm gonna finish my little story. Okay, so like I said, years went by. Um, I kind of like didn't really fall off with anime, but in a way I did just because in the high school that I was going to, it was very shamed upon. And of course I had already not, didn't have that much friends. So I was like, maybe I should stop talking about this <laughs> out loud. So um, I kind of went into this little hole and then I joined the military and that took up a lot of time. A lot of time so that also like made me um just put anime in general to the side and video games which were a big part of my life especially final fantasy uh -huh. um, so like i said it wasn't until i went to south korea 2018 where i was like let me cosplay again i'm lying i'm lying no my second cosplay i started to get into the rave scene Okay, so you guys, there's a whole journey. <laughs> so I got into the rave scene, and then I went to a 
was going to a spooky rave in Houston called shit what's the spooky rave called Jojo I was in the army um I can't remember uh something wicked something wicked in Houston you can look it up it's a spooky themed rave I was like I want to go as Raven so I did like her Raven from Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did her version kind of loosely based off of where, if you guys watch Teen Titans, where her dad was starting to possess her body. And she was getting like the birthmarks and everything. Mm -hmm. That's when I was like, I want to do that one. Like, you know, I did it. And guess what? Just the way that I didn't go to the comic convention, this one got no. canceled. No! <laughs> Oh, no, no, there was a hurricane warning. So they were like, something wicked is off, and it was raining for days. And so I wore my Raven cosplay in my house, and I was like, I guess I'll take some pictures. I was like, okay, this is really expensive. I can't keep doing this if I don't have like a purpose. I don't know why I didn't think of, let me try to go back to conventions now that I'm older and I have adult money and I can make friends who are into the same stuff as me until you realize that it's actually hard to make adult friends who are into the same stuff as you so when i went to south korea um i met my husband there and we went to comic con there and that's when i was like i'll try the cosplay thing again <laughs> i was like let's see if i can actually go to an event and so i dressed i dressed up as a uh, silk from spider-man you guys read the comments oh yeah uh, oh yeah yeah, uh -huh. so I dressed up as Silk, and ever since that convention, I was like, I'm gonna go every year to Comic-Con. I was like, I like this shit. I was like, there's nerdy people <laughs> everywhere. This is my jam. <laughs> so, after that, after Silk, I kind of took a little break just because I didn't know if it was something that I wanted to do more often. 2019, I moved to Jersey, which is where I'm at. And I started, you know, hearing more about New York Comic-Con, and mm -hmm. I was like you know what, let me start pitching in some money for more cosplays. And the more that I did it, the more I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. I started doing like X-23 from Marvel. Um, I did Shigo. Those were kind of my starter cosplays. And then I, I dabbled into some, like, some fantasy stuff. Like I did a Plague Doctor. I did a Krampus. I did like other mythology cosplays. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I just took off. And then eventually when was it covid year just like you yep. covid year i literally did uh my hair is doing weird things with it stuck in my headphones i'm sorry uh, <laughs> i did a cosplay every month so i pretty much i did like 12 to 14 cosplays without even knowing that time was going yeah. by and that i was spending money on cosplays <laughs> and then from there i was like all right here we go we're gonna keep doing this now all right, yeah, that's all right. my story that's how i got into cosplay nice all right, my time is up, so the DMX voice is... The DMX <laughs> voice is gone. Uh, Bye, DMX. But since, since, You're since, uh, since I, Geek... I wasted your five minutes. Since Geek, um, since Geek wanted me to do the bark... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now, not that not we've gone the other way. everything delayed because I have your stream up? Yeah, a little so bit, I hear a little barking, bit. and then later I see him barking at the screen. <laughs> like the corner of my eye. <laughs> Jojo, I know Persona, but I'm not a fan of Persona. I'm sorry, I just don't know of it because I've I've never tried it. Oh, oh, you should. You had, you, you had, you should. should. It is coming to PC. You should. Persona Five Royal is coming to PC this October, so it is. Mm. You should. I mean, I'm not gonna lie; those they're chunky. You're they chunky. are. It, it is long. It's, but it's it, it's worth it. Though. I agree. I feel like you get a really good bang for your buck with those games. Is it um, more story based or like more shooters or story? Based. Oh, it's it's story based. It's a JRPG. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. J yeah. JRPG. JRPG. JRPGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're, if you're, you're like in the Final Fantasy, fantasy stuff, you guys. Like, yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy yeah. is like. Ooh. You should you should cancel everything else in the world and leave me with one Persona. Oh yes, Persona. 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 You, you. Hi, Persona. I. You, you're talking <laughs> with, with two of the it. biggest uh, Persona Five. Oh, 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 sorry, Jolly. Th three of the Persona best Persona uh, fans in here. Myself, Jolly, and Infinity. Go play Persona. Anyway, try, all right. <laughs> all right, Lynn. The floor is yours. Same question. My, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, like how I got into cosplay. Um, 
I would have to say, like, I, I knew about cosplay for a while. Um, probably since... Actually, probably about, about middle school. Uh, like Fatima said. Um, so I was into anime, video games, literally grew up watching anime, didn't even know it was anime until, you know, it was said, oh, hey, by the way, these cartoons, you thought they were cartoons? They're actually from Japan. It's, it's anime. And I was like, oh! Nice. <laughs> now, nice. now I know. <laughs> uh, grew up playing, you know, Sega Genesis, all that kind of stuff. So we, th th this was, you know, both things were integral to childhood. Um, and of course, like when you start looking into things that you like and stuff like that, you come across cosplays. So um, that's how I discovered that cosplay was a thing. Um, and seeing all the cool, like, people doing uh, dressing up as the different characters and stuff like that. Um, and I was like, that's really cool. I'll probably never do that. Um, but I love the art, uh, the artistry of everyone who does do it. So that was my thought process back then growing up, you know, middle school, high school, whatever. Um, I really didn't start, uh, which in my head, I didn't think of it as cosplay. If you, but if you think about like the time that we would put into these to the costumes that we made you guys tell me how to be cosplay um so i guess my first time actually cosplay would be uh <laughs> they have uh down here at the parks they have the uh halloween parties so mickey's not so scary and me and my friends would we did unit costumes and put so much work into them like hand sewing all this kind of stuff so i guess technically speaking like now thinking about it that'd be like my first kind of like dipping toe into doing something like that. Um, cause we, we, we get into it. We're already talking about what we're doing for this year. I think we're doing a lot of shock and barrel this year for the parties. Uh, <laughs> so that'll be fun. Um, from a nightmare before Christmas, if you haven't seen that. Um, but um, yeah, so that's like a little, little toe dip. Um, and then it really kind of started like getting kicked in the high gear when quarantine happened. Um, I was like, so I was stuck at home not doing anything um and i was like you know what like i said i have the time money's just kind of sitting here i'm just gonna go ahead and try it so the first cosplay that i tried um was roxanne um uh, like officially cosplay was roxanne from a goofy movie um oh my God. and yeah so that was the first one i tried uh, i think she's still on my instagram uh I like all the way on the bottom <laughs> did, uh, what's her face uh the coffee girl from goofy yes movie. Yeah, yeah the, the, the um Bongo girl. She had like little the... Java bean. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was like my first like official cosplay. Um, and then um I was like, okay, that was fun. Um, and then like which I now know is called I guess crossplay when you uh cosplay as, as the opposite sex. Didn't know that, but now I know. Uh, so I tried uh Joker from Persona Five. That was he was actually I think my second one, or was it Deku? I don't remember. It was one or the other. But yeah, it's, I, as soon as I kept going, I was like, you know what? This is fun. And we're gonna keep going. Um, I have slowed down a little bit. Um, I don't know how many cosplays I've done so far. I think in my first year I did like nine, nine, ten? Nine, ten oh, cosplays wow. in my first year. Yeah, it does add up. Yeah, Jolly, yeah, I've done Joker. I think I've done like three Joker cosplays so far. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's he's kind of become my comfort cosplay for some reason. I don't know why that is. I just feel really confident when cosplaying Joker. I haven't done his um actual Phantom Thieves outfit. It's it's been all his like uniforms slash casual look. So uh, that's all I've done. Uh, but I think and also like most of my cosplays have been overall from Persona Five. I think I've done three Persona Five cosplays out of all the ones I've done. And um. I've done Tifa. Tifa's also a favorite. I've done two Tifa cosplays. I love me some Tifa. Uh, people have requested, like, my friends have requested Cloud Strife, so we're working on that one. Uh, so... Ooh, what are you gonna do for the hair? Oh, are you gonna do his I gotta, hair? Or are you gonna yeah, do I was gonna say the same question. Yeah, I, I have his. I have a wig. It's somewhere off to the side somewhere. It's not styled, but I don't even have, like, the, out the outfit yet. Uh, Jojo, Jojo, I want to do a catchy event. Actually, do it. Do it. You want to do a catchy JoJo? <laughs> I gotta see do that. Do it. Do it. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Wait, hold on. Since you said a catch, you have to show this pancakes. There goes a pancake boy. Right oh, there. that is that is awesome. <laughs> that's sweet. That is sweet. I like it. I love that. I had to show that. <laughs> but yeah, that that's like in short, uh, because I'm I'm still like getting into it. So I would definitely consider myself more of a novice when it comes to cosplay. 
but um i really enjoy it and i try to like see the things that other experienced cosplayers are doing and like try and you know implement that and learn from them uh that's where i'm at right now yeah nice <laughs> nice i love i love i love i love what i'm hearing so i love what we're hearing so far and the and like I said, the, the chat is, is, is digging it too. I'm he uh Jojo says I'm a huge Akeshi fan. Give me that mug. No, that's not, no no can do Jojo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a birthday gift. I'm keeping it. Oh, I was gonna ask you where you got it from, but you probably but <laughs> got you, got you. So my next question is um so when y'all when y'all do your, your you ladies do your cosplay, honestly infinity. Oh, Okay, Isla Infinity, this one first, and then I'll okay. throw it over to Fatima. When you guys uh, come up with your costumes, do you buy it somewhere, or do you make the material from scratch yourself? So, because I don't have any kind of room for a sewing machine or anything like that, uh, I live in an apartment, so I have like no kind of space. I'm sharing a space with four other people. Um, so I definitely buy my cosplays. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? There's no shame in that, y'all. Like, no, if, you, if you are just starting out, that. if you're just starting out, like, you have to start somewhere, right? So I'm still in that phase where I am, like, you know, buying the cosplays. I'm now looking to see, like, where some of the better quality cosplays are that you can buy, um, which, of course, that gets a lot more expensive. Um, but it's going to be expensive regardless if you are making it yourself, especially if you're trying to go for uh, accuracy and realism, you go and pay some money. <laughs> you go and be paying some money. So if, if you're looking for, you know, something like really nice, whatever, you know, it's whether you make it or buy it, it's going to be expensive. Um, but yeah, I, I, I buy things because I don't have a sewing machine or anything. Uh ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, for those who want to, like, begin, that's a great great way to start yeah there's there's a lot of good sites um that you can get stuff from as well so yeah uh if you don't mind me asking what sites are there any sites you recommend personally that you've used um i recently uh well like i said i, I have to go ahead and grab uh the wig and start styling it that, that is one thing i have done is style wigs i have styled my own wigs so far um that's the only thing i've done myself uh, truly. That's still something that's hard to do, girl. It is. It's not. It's not easy. I, I need. I still need a styling head. I don't think style wigs on my own head. There's one time, like, I tell you, we, we are. We are. She's got like four mirrors. She's like, all right. <laughs> I. I have like. Is it still there? It might be still there. You might not be able to see it. But I burnt the side of my neck because my. I was trying to curl my Joker wig because I was like freshening it back okay, up, yeah. right? And um, it's actually an old wig I used to have before, so it's it's a human hair wig. And I was like, you know what? I can still use this. Cut it, cut it a little bit. Why buy another wig when I could use this one? Yeah. And so I was actually using my, my flat iron because it's human hair, so I'm able to actually style it with a curling iron. Bad, worst mistake. I mm. got the side of my neck. I was like, oh my god! Like it was mm. awful. The, the wig looked great though. The wig looked great though. <laughs> It hey. came out fantastic. Uh, but to Almost answer your neck, but the wig looks good. <laughs> but it came mm. out fresh. Um, <laughs> it, it was worth the pain. Um, <laughs> but uh, sites that I know about are like uh, Easy Cosplay. I also have started seeing a lot of stuff from Roll Cosplay as well, which is where I got my uh, Cloud Strife wig from. And I know a lot of uh, Genshin Impact cosplayers can, do get stuff from there. Um, oh. So. Yeah, that's actually something I'm looking into as well as eventually cosplaying character for Genshin Impact, which I had I need to get back into. It's been a while since I played Genshin, but <laughs> oh <laughs> man, I just got back into that a couple of weeks ago or uh, a month ago actually. Yeah, it's, it's been a good bit because yeah. Final Fantasy XIV has overtaken my life, so <laughs> I will not get on Genshin. I refuse because I already know. I'm uh, get addicted. Yeah. Don't even, <laughs> don't even tell me to. Leave you me will. alone. You. Leave me alone. But Fatima went from one addiction to another because it, it was Genshin, and then I started 14, and now I'm like, well, here I we are. 14. Right. Ooh, ooh, I'm, like I 14. always fall off, and then I go right back in, and I'm like, shit, here we are again. I'm like, <laughs> right, I'm like... All right. Uh, bottom of floor is yours. <laughs> Same question. Um. Okay. Uh, I do both. So I started with buying, like she mentioned, Easy Cosplay is a good one. Um, sometimes a hit or miss, though. 
Mm -hmm. I did, um, what have I bought from Easy Cosplay? I bought Shigo from Kim Possible from there. It was really good. I bought, if you guys have watched, um, Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. Um, well, Korra's, Korra's, uh, Legend of Korra. I did Asami. So I ordered that one from Easy Cosplay, but as an artist, I see a lot of issues <laughs> just because I can also do stuff. Um, yeah. I have a sewing machine right there. Oh. It's right there. I see it. Oh, I see it. So <laughs> sometimes it's cheaper to buy things. Um, sometimes it's more expensive, like Lynn said. But this one specifically was cheaper if I just bought it. It was 50 bucks. And I was like, yes. It came with the gloves. It came with like the vest. It came with the undershirt. It came with the pants. I was like, this is great. This is a lot cheaper than if I would have made it. Um, but there's little details in her outfit that were missing. And I guess I didn't pay attention enough when I had ordered it. And it's such a hassle to return things. And you have to wait like 60 days sometimes to even get a cosplay. Mm -hmm. I'm like... Okay, whatever. We already have it. So that's where it falls off. But that's where you can also add your skills if you have them. And like, I still have the cosplay. Eventually, I'm going to fix it. I don't know when mm -hmm. I want to revisit it. But when I do, I'll fix those little details. So cosplays that I've made myself are uh, Tifa from Final Fantasy. I've done uh, uh, Chun-Li, but the battle dress mm -hmm. edition. I've, I've, um, I've seen Carter. that. I've seen yes. that. Yes. And then things that I've bought. Um, I even forget what I do. I bought Maki. If you've watched Fire Force, I bought that yes. one. Um, Love that anime. Yes, it's so good. And yeah, I've done Mirko from My Hero Academia. Ooh. Um, so that's an example of where I did both. So I bought the cosplay, but it was weird. My body's weird, you guys. I work out, so I'm like, my legs are big, but my waist is small, so things don't go up, you know. No such thing as a weird no such thing. No such thing as a weird body. Every everybody's beautiful. But yes, everyone and everybody's different. So if you get a small, yep. it might not be a small. Or if you get a medium, mm -hmm. it's like a medium in some places and not in other places. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah, that's that where is, I would have to. That is true. So that's where the sewing machine comes in hand because if something's cheaper it's great but now you might not get it fitted to yourself so then plus that's you have a little to fit sewing it machine. yourself yeah um before i had a sewing machine though i was hand sewing which takes a long time but i was hand sewing not because i didn't have the sewing machine because i was intimidated to turn that thing on <laughs> so it sat there for like a year and a half before i was like I know how to do this. Why am I so scared? You know, it's like being a beginner all over again. I was just intimidated that I was going to mess up. So um, that's what I do. One thing I haven't very much like played around with is crafting <laughs> with the Eva foam. I've done it once. There's a photo shoot, a fantasy photo shoot that I did. It was a armored soldier, kind of a knight. And I made the sword. It was a big buster sword. Like the inspiration was cloud sword. So I was like, I'm not buying a sword that's like three hundred dollars. That's this size. I guess I have to. I guess I have to try Eva foam. So that was my first time playing with it. I look at it now and I'm like, this is terrible. I was like, I hate this. I hate the way it came out. Everybody's like, wow, it looks so good. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I see all the errors. There's mistakes everywhere. It's terrible. It's not smooth. It doesn't even look like a sword. <laughs> that's how hard I am on myself. So Eva foam is something that I do want to play around with more, especially because there's characters that. Or armored, and I want to, mm -hmm. I want to do that stuff like Xena the Warrior Princess. I would love to do. Yes. That. Oh man! Yeah. I have, oh like, I have would, yet to see. You would kill that. I have yet to see something like that, and you I agree with you. Would, you would, you, you would slay yes. it, that cosplay. Yes. Thank oh my god. But gosh. the the breastplate that she has is most cosplayers have done it. Eva foam. So I have mm -hmm. to like, I don't know if you guys follow uh, Kamui cosplay. Yes. yes yes okay her stuff her tutorials everything are perfect each time i see her do it though that's how i got the sword tutorial was from her i was like oh my god that's my toxic trait i see somebody do something and i'm like oh yeah it's gonna come out just like that in like oh, no. less than a day <laughs> <laughs> so i saw her make the sword got, got this. yeah i was like i saw her make the sword i was like man that shit looks easy so i started doing it and i was like wow this is terrible now forgetting that like when you play with or when you you know kind of craft with eva foam you have to file down a lot of things so what kamui what she has is she has like this big sanding wheel 
So when uh, she makes weapons and she's like cutting the sides to make it look sharp for the swords, she has the sanding wheel, you know, going super fast. So it. her her cuts are clean. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I have this little dreamer, a dremel, and I was like, no! like super slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're gonna get there real soon, like, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be real smooth, and that's, you know, in oh, my no. mind, I was like, the sword is gonna look just like hers with this little dremel, <laughs> and I'm just like, doing it really slow. Oh, no. So, oh, man. Oh, that's man. one thing that I need to <laughs> play around with more. I actually have Eva Foam under my desk. I don't know what for, but I'm like, I'm gonna do something eventually. Um, <laughs> Comic-Con is coming up in October, and... I have to do something with Eva Foam, so Ooh. that'll be the next time. <laughs> and whatever you do with it, I, I, I bet it's gonna, I, I bet it's gonna turn out perfect. I, I'm sure it's gonna no turn way. out great for everybody else, and I'm gonna be the one that's upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I also got a 3D printer, so. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Too. All right. We'll see. So my next question is going to be. What is okay, what is the cosplay that Hey Mods, can someone do something about that that, that spam well, not post the bot. please? Not Make the that bot. guy go away. <laughs> Get that bot up out of here. Yeah. We we, we ain't got <laughs> we ain't got no room for we got no room for bots up in here except the bots that, except the um the bot that, that does the uh the shout Who's and still everything. Who's falling for that? Who's buying who's buying followers? Yeah, uh I don't know. Don't do that. Don't, no, no, don't. It actually ruins your engagement, so don't do that. Anyway. Agreed. Agreed. Anyway, uh, I think one of my mods will get rid of that. They get, Thank you, they Kimmy. Got it. Get, get that, get that, <laughs> get that ish on out of here. We don't. We, <laughs> we don't do that here. Nah, we don't. We 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 ain't, we nothing but authentic. On, I, I can't talk. We are nothing <laughs> but but real, real around here. Um. So the question I was gonna ask is, uh, agree, Kimmy, bad bot. Question I was gonna ask, um, what is your favorite cross? What is the best cosplay that you've done? That you feel you've done personally? And I would throw that to. Well, actually, I, do, I don't. I don't want y'all can can go first. Uh, but y'all need time to think about it. Question. That's a very hard question. You said you said like favorite right is that what you said like your purse like the one you personal I guess, favorite personal favorite okay i think i, I think i might have said my own yo i'll reiterate i'll reiterate it's it, it's it's like i said it's, it's joker i don't know why for some reason it's joker from persona 5 i feel like the most comfortable in that cosplay um yeah i just feel like a badass <laughs> that's all that matters the one that makes you feel like a badass is the one yeah, yeah. <laughs> runner up would be Tifa. I love Tifa. I that, think probably Maki up. from Fire Force. Uh, and mm. I think it became my favorite because it also got the best feedback. That one like blew up. Yeah. On TikTok too, and I was like, oh. like people were like more Maki, and I was like, I'm sorry, you guys, but I do other things too. I was like, I can't just be Maki, you know? But <laughs> I liked I liked that one because I actually went to a convention in Georgia, a Dragon Con, with mm -hmm. that cosplay. And got a lot of good feedback, and I was so happy. Because I was actually shredded at the time. I was doing my competition. Oh, the nice. day after, actually. Well, two days after I went to the con was a competition. So I had abs like Maki, so it made sense. Yeah. So that was, like, one of my favorites. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh, so, thank, you, thank you, Sean. Yo, you. so that is Sean on site. That is actually he actually is my real life best friend for over oh. twenty years. Uh, he also is a streamer, and if y'all ain't follow him already, go leave him a follow. As a matter of fact, before I forget, <laughs> there you go, Sean. I gave you gave you back your uh, your mod privileges, my man. Hey. Uh, so Got it. Got it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, one of my chat has a question. Um, what is the cosplay you're, you are the most excited to do? Or what's the cosplay you're most, ex that you are most excited to do? Um, so I have two. Um, they're both priorities, and I have to have them done by October. <laughs> um, so for Comic-Con, it's 
X23 again revisited, but there is a specific version by Square Enix. Mm. If you look up X23 Laura Kinney by Square Enix, you will see an action figure. Okay, that's that's all that's out there is the action figure. Um, nobody has done that version of X23, so I'm on that shit. Like, I have to do it super fast. <laughs> it's like my goal. So her piece is a little complex but that's where i have to play around with the 3d printer and some of the, her pieces are armored and that's mm. how i was talking about armor cosplays and why i have to get better at it because to make that one like they don't sell that one online you guys i have to actually <laughs> sit down and make yeah. that one so that one and then i still want to do i know it's a uh, underrated game but senua from hellblade i don't know mm. if you guys played the game only some people have heard of it some people have played it I've guys, seen it. It's such an awesome game. And because I keep seeing your stream talk about mental health, that game is is so good. Because mm. if you haven't heard of, of the game itself, it's only a, a eight to ten hour gameplay. If you're okay. good at solving puzzles, it'll take you like eight hours for the first time. Um and it's so good. It's this this girl who's a Celtic warrior and she's basically going through Viking hell. Mm. to find um, her husband's lost soul that was taken by the goddess Hell, which is the goddess of Hell. So mm -hmm. the whole game is your when you have your headset on, you hear voices in your head the whole time. And they're, they're oh, messing wow. with you. Oh, so man. like if you're trying to go somewhere and you've never played the game, the voices are like, no, don't go in there, don't go in there. You're like, wait. Am I supposed to go in here? And then somebody's like, go in there, go in there. And you're like, am I supposed to go in here? Oh my god. Go oh, man. You don't realize oh, that. No. You don't realize that she has a mental issue. You think that it's things in hell messing with her. Until you realize, oh, the whole game I'm over here talking to myself. And it's a lot of self-doubt. It's a lot mm. of um, guilt and anxiety. And But as you play through the game, it like... I don't know, it's so good. I don't want to get off topic. I can get off topic. The, na the Sean, the name of the game is Hellblade. Then you will sacrifice. That's number one. Number two is coming out sometime this year, I think. I just, uh, I just okay. looked, as you were talking about the X-23, I just looked it up. Oh, man, that looks intense. It's like a cross between Batgirl mm -hmm. and, um... It's like a cross between Batgirl and Wolverine, kind of-ish. Mm -hmm. Well, Laura Kinney is Wolverine's daughter. Well, yeah, true. Yeah, so she, she is Wolverine. So that's probably where the MCU is gonna go to next. Well, not the MCU. Um, X Men. Because mm -hmm. if you haven't seen Logan, you know Logan's not here anymore. Yeah. So yeah. Rest in I peace. I think they're gonna Rest go in peace to with Logan. Thor. I mean, the character Logan, not the actor, obviously. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think. I'm sitting here like thinking. Uh, cosplay I'm most excited to do. Um, I am excited to do, uh, there's like a couple that I have like in my mind that I'm like, okay, I, I can't wait to do these. Um, so Cloud Stripe will be one. Um, so that's what I'm excited to do. Eventually I'll want to do uh, Kaya from Genshin Impact. I would love to do that. Um, and I, I, I that, cause uh, I don't know if y'all know um, Drowsy Ghost TV, but he was like, hey, have you ever thought about uh, cosplaying a Genshin character? I'd like to see that. And I was like, okay, you know what? Sure. I I I'll try it. Why not? The cosplays so, are so nice. They are. The Genshin cosplays are really I haven't really played it. Like nice. I said, don't tell me to play it. I'm not going to play it. But I, I follow <laughs> people who cosplay them, and I'm like, it looks the, so The cool. cosplays are really, really good. Um, like I said, they basically all of them get the, the role cosplay. So I was like, okay, at least I know where all y'all are getting this shit. So... <laughs> Noted! <laughs> Noted! Um, so, Kaya from Genshin Impact is probably gonna be another one. Um, and then, it's funny because you mentioned how you have things coming up that have to be done by October. I have two that have to be done by October. Um, <laughs> it's a busy month. Yeah, and that's because of Bleach. So I have two Bleach cosplays I need to finish. Tell me it's Yoroichi. It's not! It's not! Oh. Oh. I know, that's why I was looking at your shirt and I was like, please tell me it's her. Deception. Uh, uh, it's a lie. It's a lie. Sure is a lie. I'm not disappointed. I'm just mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but um, sorry. Go ahead. But that is gonna be 
be something eventually that will happen but she's not the one that needs to be done by october um but i do have a uh, byakuya kuchiki and uh toshio hitsugaya both lined up i have things i just need wigs at this point um everything else i have me too like th those are like two of my favorites um and the inspiration is for the upcoming arc so that's going to be like the look that i'm doing is for the upcoming arc that they're going to be animating in october um eventually we'll get yoruichi someone also requested uh mr hat and clogs so we're gonna be doing that too at some point uh so yeah that, that's what i'm excited for i'm excited for those things so nice yeah i'm getting my husband to watch bleach so we just finished the first arc we gotta get through the second one yeah, oh, I can a little man. break because it's long, but I'm it, like, it, it is. It is. Let's it go is. because the new season is <laughs> coming. In. Time is winding down. down. Time, <laughs> right. time is winding down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not as long as it's not as long as One Piece, which I still have not seen. I'll never see it. I, ha I have it either, so yeah. you're not alone. Just the way I'll never play Genshin. Don't tell right. me to watch One Piece. Like, you know what? <laughs> you'll you'll, you'll have better luck with so... Genshin. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. The One Piece is talked about so much that I know everybody's name. Yeah. You want to know interested in the characters already, and I'm like, I, I don't want to see it. It's like, you want to, you want to know something? I hear Naruto talked about so much, I and I know Fatima is going to literally rip me apart uh, when I say this. I still haven't seen the anime. Okay, I, 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 I don't force I, nobody I, to watch it. I'm I have saying, I feel I sad for you. It. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting stuck in the Chunin arc. Every time I start over, I keep getting stuck there. <laughs> Like the first one, like the test. Yes, I don't. Girl, I don't yeah. make it past the test. I don't make it past. I always. You're not fall even off. in the good part yet. I know. I know. I keep falling off. It is ridiculous. Shippuden is like. I I know. I keep hearing. I keep hearing. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I, I can make. And then like, people are like, oh, like, I think my brother was like, honestly, like, at this point, just skip the OG, and go to Shippuden. And I was like, no, I can't do that. I have to see yeah. it all. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna... I... Oh, what was that? <gasps> what was that? That's my plant. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought like something just, just crept in your house. I'm like, oh shit! Like, I'm like, oh. My plants are fine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So like, I, I I was like, I, I can't I can't skip a series. Like, no, I, I can't do that. I gotta watch it. If I'm gonna watch, ship it in. I have to make it through the first series. Because you have to know the characters. Yeah. Correct. Like, where yeah. they're yeah. coming from and like, yeah, you know, like there's I, some I can't stuff do that. that you'll miss. I can't do that. Made, it's gonna be all or nothing. We'll get to it eventually. <laughs> I made my husband watch Naruto during COVID. It was a great idea. He loved it. I mean, he <laughs> Just the way that I know he'll love Bleach. <laughs> oh, uh, Jojo says, oh, uh, I'm gonna get this name, pronounce it. Bur 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 Thank you. It's Isn't bad Bur either. Yeah, I heard it's like a slow start. I don't even want to watch it. I've, I I've, 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 I've heard mixed things. Girl, you're not even over the thing. I know. Yet, so I don't even think. <laughs> I know. I've heard mixed things about it. I still be hearing about it. So I'm like, I'm not even going to be concerned. I heard it's about very that. slow. And then it gets very good. Like, yeah. 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 Like, just like I'm never gonna watch One Piece. I'm never gonna watch Four. I already know what happened, so I'm very upset and I don't want to watch it. So oh, I'm just dang. gonna pretend mm. that it finishes at Shippuden. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair That's enough. Right, for me. Okay. Just like Game Fair of Thrones, it ended on season six and we don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, my next question, my next question is. Um, now if you don't, if you don't want to answer this, this is, this is, this is, that's fine. Uh, this is something I thought, um, something I thought I, I if you don't mind me, I thought I'd ask. Have you ever, okay, I guess, uh, have you ever had a rather uncomfortable experience interacting, uh, mm. with, with someone who, um, has a, who saw your cosplay? If you don't want to answer this, that's fine. I know. I don't uh, want to. Uncomfortable, uh, like in person, like online. Uh, either or. Either or. Yeah, I could talk about this because it still happens. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's it's TikTok, so of course there's mm -hmm. you know, stupid people who don't have a face and they'll just comment stuff. But I always get, especially when it, because like most of the girls that I like to cosplay in anime, guess what? They have big boobs. What like? 
what do you want me to do so i am not gifted in that department okay so when i call yeah. these girls somebody always has to point it out where are her boobs <sighs> or they have to point this out that character doesn't have tattoos i have a lot of tattoos in case you haven't seen i'm like covered and so like people always like have a need to say that like oh well the character mm-hmm. doesn't have tattoos well the character has big like where are her boobs and like it's just enough times like obviously i get more positive comments than negative yeah like, each time mm-hmm. i see that i'm like why why does it matter like i'm just doing it my d- version of the character and like you know i know that there's amazingly accurate cosplays that look just like the character head to toe everything that's great but i do my cosplay my way and it's not gonna have that so that's the only time where i'm like like i don't give the energy to these comments i just delete them Mm -hmm. just because whenever i feel like if you leave negative comments on your post it's like an invitation for more negative stuff so the the minute i see it because i read everything because people Mm -hmm. are always like oh i never thought that you would read that i'm like i read everything so if i see it i'm gonna delete it not only because for me but maybe somebody else is reading these comments that's like, oh, I want to cosplay this character. And then they yeah. see stupid comments and they're like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this hate. So never mind. Now I'm not even going to cosplay because mm-hmm. all I see is this bullshit. So. Yeah. Jojo, good point. All all cosplay isn't perfect. Those, I think you meant to say pervs there, but yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, unfortunately in the online space, unfortunately, Unfortunately, that's it's something that uh, people have to be yeah. talking about. Yeah. We're not even weird. It's just unnecessary people. Uh, I don't understand agreed. what they think. It's, they... It's, it's, those, it's those same people who come after those people who are like, oh, like, this person isn't the right skin tone. This person's hair oh, isn't yeah. right, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. It's those same exact people who want to just TikTok go on too. people. Yeah, all, all over TikTok, which is why, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not on TikTok as much because, like, it just gets to be a lot for no reason. I found, mm-hmm. at least for me, Instagram hasn't been as crazy. Uh, so, and it's easier for me to just take pictures to manage pictures <laughs> versus trying to make like video content. Um, right, right. Uh, I, I just realized for me, it does a better balance life wise. Um, but yeah, I just, I just noticed that a lot. Um, it's just, it's just a little bit ridiculous. I haven't personally had like too, um, many people say anything crazy crazy weird to me um but i also haven't been out in person yet in cosplay i've done one thing i went to a final fantasy orchestra concert and i went in uh as tifa it was like the seven remake uh tour that was going around the country and stuff like that so i went as tifa but there's other people in cosplay too like you know so like it, it was ex- kind of expected so that was like the only time i've been like in public so far and in you know cosplay what? like i haven't people, had like you know but yeah if people really are online saying people. that stuff about like color they'll say it to you online but i bet they'll never say it to you in your i i i'd be willing to so that. it's fully totally come up to you no, absolutely mm-hmm. and say this person isn't this color well it's not they're not white either sweetie they're japanese so okay like Period. But they no, won't say yeah. it to your face nobody will ever come up to me and be like this character oh, has yeah. boobs I, I dare yeah. you. I dare you to say it. No, exactly. no, no one's gonna say it. No one's they, gonna they, say they, it. they probably won't. They won't. I mean, they're they're, they're behind the camera. Comfortable behind a camera. So they're gonna exactly. say whatever they want without consequences. But mm-hmm. it's okay. The yeah. just gets deleted. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Jojo is saying uh, on this subject, the most I see is the whole color rant, and I say f them. That part. I agree. Um, uh, like I want to do a Ryuji cosplay too, and I was told my skin keeps me no, from doing what. Do it. No, go for no, it. Ex- do it anyway. You do, do it, it anyway. My favorite POC cos- cosplayers are Cutie Pie Sensei. She's so, so good. Gorgeous. She's yes, so she's good. She's so great. Oh. Um, she's just gorgeous. Oh my god. She is so good. Um, but she talks about that a lot <laughs> openly. You know, she addresses the situation and she's like, "Why? Why do you keep saying that?" There's also, um, I think it's Electric something. Oh, Electric Bum. Yes, electric bum. Her, there yeah. you go. Another cosplay. One second, ladies. Yeah. But y'all can continue talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's great. And unfortunately, you guys, she's so gorgeous. And I have, like, legitimately seen the hateful comments on TikTok. Yes. Like, what the hell was the point? Yes. Like, like, that, 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 that whole situation was ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. And it's weird because TikTok started kind of like quarantine was like a safe space for everybody. Like, we all it just was. got on there because we were so bored and we're like, yeah. Hey, 
the way the TikTok algorithm was working, it was giving people um, more success in their business and people were getting on there and they were doing so mm -hmm. good. And then it just turned like any other social media platform. It was just negativity yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we might have, sorry, I just got back. Uh, no, you're good, you are good. We might have to change some hearts, Iceman. Sorry for the persona references. Man, it's all good. It's all good, Jojo. It's all good. It's all good. Uh so um quest next question. The next question I had on my list here is for if you if you had any piece of a pieces or piece or pieces of advice that you would tell someone who wants to get into cosplay for the first time, what would you tell them? Not to care and do it. Yeah, People are going to just... judge you anyways. Whatever you do, whatever hobby you uh, mm -hmm. decide to go for, somebody's always going to think it's weird. So, yeah. Nobody pay your bills, just do it. <laughs> that part! <laughs> are they in control of your wallet? No. So you go ahead and do it. Yeah, just go like ahead I always, and jump in. Uh, go, go ahead, ahead and age, jump in. Guys. That's another Tattoo. thing. Age is a big thing, and you always see these stupid kids, I'm sorry, but they're like, or even adults are like, you're in your 30s, you shouldn't be cosplaying. I'm not in my 30s yet, but best believe I will be cosplaying well into my 80s. So, <laughs> I'm prepared. And uh, All right. They, that's they how I feel about that's how I feel about gaming and streaming. I mean, mm -hmm. Kitty Pie Sensei is like 35 Kamui, Kamui cosplay. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh and wow. Yes. Dude, yes, and they talk about that they're like and they don't even look it. They look good. No, they don't. And they always talk I mean, about um how their peers view them while they're still doing this stuff in their 30s and it's like oh it's time for you to like grow up and stop doing that and it's like these people have a house and these yeah. people have mm -hmm. a happy they have husbands and they're happy like what does that matter yeah, they're, like, they're obviously like... successful so why can't they enjoy their hobby what's wrong with that Correct. Your age does not matter so yes. even if you're 50 and you're like i still want to cosplay do it do it, do it. it i matter. mean i i i'm also in the uh the, the 30 plus club i'm not gonna give an exact number but like we're in the 30 plus club Sighted. but yeah so mm -hmm. that's all you need to know mm. <laughs> yeah yeah but i feel like there's a point that people yeah, start so. to like kind of make you feel bad for that and they're like oh there's a certain cutoff age where you should stop and it's like no no you shouldn't so don't care that's mm -hmm. my advice don't care if you want to do it just do it and there's always somebody that's going to like it's going to like it so yes Great. Yeah. You always Great get advice. more positive feedback than negative. Always. Mm-hmm. Cause like even though there are those like people out there, like a lot of the people who are like the naysayers, I find I feel like they're not even cosplayers. So like a lot of them are just like people who wanna hate for no reason. Um, bored. Correct. Bored. Um so yeah, just jump in. All all you can do is try. Um and the sooner you just jump in and just immerse yourself into it um the easier it'll get just go ahead and just do it um it's gonna be yeah, nerve-wracking like for ass. sure absolutely yeah it's gonna be totally nerve-wracking for sure uh but once once you go ahead and just do it rip a band-aid off and just try it it'll become easier from there ignore the haters they're not worth it exactly. they're not the ones yeah. paying your bills they're not the ones you know that they don't control matter. your life correct I was, I was literally about to say you don't live your life for them <clears throat> so like who cares what they say it doesn't matter what they say what they think people are going to judge you like like uh, fatima said people will be judging you in or out of cosplay you know what i mean people will have their yeah. opinions yeah. it doesn't even matter do it for you have fun and just do it yeah, and like how JoJo said, I hate it when people always say, oh, why do you still like anime or games? Because I have adult money now. So yes, I'm going to play all the mm -hmm. games I couldn't play. I'm going to buy all the merch that I couldn't buy when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> what adult money. Yeah. I, I am the same boy, yes. <laughs> Nothing changes. You just have more money and you're more responsible how, now. That's all like, that how I'm spending my adult money. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm spending my adult money. I didn't money. Even have that when I was younger. <laughs> and now that I'm, I'm 37, yes, I'm 37, even though I don't look like it. Uh, no, you don't. You look fantastic. Th th thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though I'm thirty, I'm thirty-seven. You know, own house, e everything. You know, I'm. I'm I, hey, I got, my, I got my. I'm, I'm making, I'm making my own money now. 
I'm going to spend it how I want it to, you know? Exactly. So, uh, Work hard, play hard. Exactly. So, my, I have, do have one last question. Um, What was, in, in cosplay, what was probably the favorite con, you, what was your favorite, I guess, convention you attended in cosplay? Comic Con, for sure. New York Comic Con. Just I haven't been to that many. I've been to Comic Con in South Korea. I've been to Comic Con in New York, and I've been to Dragon Con in Georgia. But it was a mm -hmm. bit of a, a fluke because I went on Thursday. I actually went to Georgia to compete in bodybuilding, and I just so happened to compete the weekend that Dragon Con was there. So I went and on Thursday, and um, there wasn't much going on yet. So my favorite has to be New York Comic Con. And I've been to Anime Con in New York, which is held in the same convention center that New York Con is at. So it's basically the same thing, but smaller. Um, so I think New York, I went as Chun Li last year, the battle dress version. And I had a lot of fun too, because my husband um, was Dark Ryu. So we got, you know, you always, well, it doesn't matter if you have a cheap cosplay, an amazing cosplay, somebody's gonna stop you for a picture. So it's always fun. <laughs> I have yet to go to a con, so we're working on it <laughs> at some point. Flights are just so expensive now, because um, when I had started cosplaying, of course, there was no cons happening because everyone was in quarantine. Oh, um, right. And and yeah, and then cons weren't really back yet. They're slowly starting to come back now, so I'm hoping, uh, hopefully soon, maybe maybe next year, because uh, my friends were trying to get me out for like Anime NYC. Um, or like TwitchCon. Are Twitch you close Con. to me? <laughs> I'm not, no. Yeah, right. I was like, Anime NYC because I'm going. I'm not close at all. Those flights are so expensive. Um, so yeah, I will. I probably won't be able to make it up to Anime NYC even though I wanted to. I looked at tickets. I also was very close to going to DreamCon this year, but didn't get tickets that time. I had the time off, but didn't get tickets. Um, There's nothing close to you? There are, there are, um, cons that are here but nothing currently happening um there was mm. mega con that happened i didn't get to go i was at a wedding um and then uh i know ho uh, holiday matsuri happens every year in this area um so uh that's probably something i'll go to because it's local um yeah just go just and it happens every year exactly and i think it's it's uh definitely like you know anime video games but of course that like, people do like holiday inspired versions of those cosplays it's Hall holiday mat sorry aka hall mat um it's in the uh central florida area so um that's a that's like a popular one that happens every year around here so we might try hall mat this year we'll see hopefully <laughs> we'll see what happens the next year we'll hopefully try and branch out and go to some other cons because I, I would love to go i would love to go i want to go to a con so fast <laughs> Yes. Hey, oh it's the, God. it's I'm Josh. sorry, it's the hype, bro. Oh Hello. my Josh, yo, what is good, my brother? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. We look, we we love we love Josh around here. And if y'all haven't checked out it, you want to check out his photography. What are y'all doing? Go check and out my streams. hype, bro, and his streams as well. Thank you for that shout out Go to Oh My Josh. Okay. Thank you. Y'all go check out Oh My Josh. He's been kill killing him with TikTok and everything, too. And to our newest follower, thank you for the follow. You are now a citizen of the Ice Cave. I have anonymous <laughs> followers turned on. So, um, if you guys just want to um, just want to chill out, just vibe, perfectly fine. All right. So, ladies, I'm going to flip the script here. Uh, each one of you can ask me a question. So, anything you, you want to ask... All yours. Did you feel like a badass when you did Luke Cage? <laughs> I know you did, because something about cosplaying makes you feel powerful. So it really does, right? So it's nice to be somebody else for a change. I'm tired of yeah, it. Right? I'm, I'm tired of being me. <laughs> hello, hello, oh, Daddy, hello, hi, E Bunny B. Yes, it is the one and only Miss Lit Infinity. Thank you for that shout out and MQG appreciate it. So when I did Luke Cage, I'm, go I'm not gonna lie, I did feel I did feel a, a, I did feel badass in that, even though it wasn't like perfect. I mean, I just pretty much I, I had I had the pants, I had the boots, 
already. And so I just kind of slapped some, some, glove, some gloves on and the, and the chain together and it, it just turned out to be almost exactly like like Luke Cage uh, on the uh, photo I shared. So, but it was a great time. Uh, it was the only, the only time I've cosplayed and you know, it was a community challenge I set up. And so I had a great time with it. I, I had a, I personally had a great time for my very first ever cosplay. It was, I mean, it was, it was more I, of a closet co uh, cosplay. Pretty yeah, much. Cosplay, it was yeah. a closet cosplay, cool. cosplay pretty much. So Would I you, have a follow-up question to that one. Gotcha. Would you ever consider doing another cosplay? And if so, who? Yes. And if I did, it'd be Akuma from Street Fighter. Yes, dude. Akuma, cause Akuma, he is be awesome. like my favorite, my ultimate. As you guys know, I am a huge fighting game fan, and every street and Akuma is like my all-time favorite Street Fighter character. So any Street Fighter game, if he's in it, I, I, I'm, I am gonna still gonna play him. And I also like his, uh, I also like that he's a bad guy, so to speak. I mean, he's not like, he's like, he's not like, like pure evil. He's just like. He has like it's his just chaotic. He, yeah, yeah. He's like neutral. He has like his own little code that he goes and everything. And I kind of and that's and that's kind of how that's kind of what I like about him. So, and also also he's like one of the, the strongest fighters in, in the in the in the um, story. So, and also like like his, his his gameplay style and everything. So yeah, it would be Akuma. Uh, what was the question? So. Fatima asked me, um, what did I think about the Luke Cage cosplay I did? And then Lynn followed up with, if I wanted to do a cosplay again, who would it be? And so I said, you know, Akuma from Street Fighter. So. That would be great. Yeah. It's not too hard, actually, either. It's actually, mm -hmm. no, it's not. But, um, I just, each time we speak of a character, I look it up because I'm like, I have to look at their clothing and what. Yeah. It's actually not and hard. It's not too bad. It's just a gi, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you tear apart and. Um, the the beads, the prayer beads. Yeah. So the uh, beads is probably what you'll have to maybe craft. Or if you can yeah. already find them, you could probably find yeah, something. Yeah, you can like already find tribal them. Tribal online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you Just could. like look at like tribal bead necklace. You'll probably find something. Yeah. And then you. Tie the rope around your waist, and mm -hmm. then the wig. And oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's so simple. That's why I like Street Fighter stuff because it's yeah, it's easy. it's it's Except for the women. The women are a little more complex. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, my hype bro Josh says he would like to hear about the materials and how long it takes to make the armor for your cosplays. I believe this is directed to Fatima. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am bestie. <laughs> um. The armor, okay, so that one time I did that sword that I was telling you guys about earlier that I hated, <laughs> that one took me like a week because I, I have a job, you guys, so. Um, oh, I feel unfortunately, that. I feel that. not a professional cosplayer, not yet, maybe one day, who knows. Um, but yeah, it took me like a week and a half. Okay, here's the funny thing about cosplaying. I don't know if you guys have heard the jokes or not. We love to wait last minute. Okay. And I also saw this meme that was like, the reason why we wait last minute is because there's nothing more encouraging than realizing that you might not get it done like on time. So the pressure of it, like of crunch time, sometimes you need that to push you. So of course I waited last minute to do that sword, but it took me a week and a half. The materials were uh, Evo foam. So in total, um, you can buy Evo foam on Amazon. I don't know if there's a cheaper website. Maybe Evo foam has their own website. But at the time, the reason why I like going on Amazon is because I get points from my credit card. And I swear, each time I go in and see those points, next thing you know, I have mm -hmm. $50. And those $50 make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So Eva Foam is like 45 bucks or something like that for like a sheet. It's like, a, I think it's like a yard. So I had to buy two of those sheets. So that's already like 80 bucks. I had to go get all the paints. Um, good paints, obviously, to make it look shiny like a sword, which mm -hmm. I went to Hobby Lobby. I had to get like this cool like wireless uh, glue gun because I was tired of my little tiny glue gun. <laughs> um, I was like, I need to get a real glue gun and that one was like 25 bucks. So now everything's adding up just for this sword, right? Because I'm buying things that I want to use, tools that I want for the future that I didn't yeah. have for the sword. So I was like, let me just start buying these things right now. 
I bought a um, a wood burner carver. Boom, that's thirty bucks. I bought the Dremel. That was another thirty-five bucks. So next, now we're talking like a hundred and fifty dollars, right? And then it kept going, it kept going. At the end, I ended up spending like two sixty for that sword. Wow. But now it's because I was buying these tools. Now that yeah, I have, have the them. tools and I'm doing other Eva foam stuff, I already have some stuff to start me off with. So now it'll be cheaper. But um, yes, it's expensive. But now if I would have went on Etsy and done that. The sword would have cost me a thousand dollars, so you know, mm -hmm. like that. maybe five hundred to a thousand, just depending yeah. on the quality, of the materials, and yeah. what it is. But yeah, I haven't done an armored cosplay yet, have I? No, I have not. So I don't know yet. I'll let you know in October when that happens. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Looking for, looking forward to that cosplay. Looking forward to it. Yes, it sounds expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Cosplay is an investment for sure. Yeah, Iceman. I mean, um, Josh is stoked. Definitely. I mean, anything. I mean, anything. Uh, anything either of these ladies do. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Quality. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Of course. <laughs> well, uh, that was all. That was everything I had. Um, and I think uh that. We'll do it for the um for the show today. So once again, uh audience, show your love for both Fatimer. Oh. How do I How do I say your name again? I... Let me spell it on the chat. That's how you spell it. Fatimer. <laughs> that was like some like, was like Medea I'm shit. Putting it in the chat. I'm crying. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's like reading my name too fast. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> I'm not Fatima. It's all. It's all good, Ice. It's all good. <laughs> <The Chima>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, 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 y'all just end the show. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> anyway, uh, mad love to Fatima and Miss Lynn Infinity for do for doing the show today, for being on here Absolutely. talking about uh, cosplay and everything. And with that, we are going to uh, send. <laughs> that was a very good show. Had 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 a wonderful time talking to the to ladies, uh, interacting with everybody. And everything so we are now going to send the love over to another streamer and what i like to do on this show if either of you have someone that we can raid oh. let me know in the chat and we will raid that person because uh one that rather uh you know show show them the love you know meet uh always always good meeting new people as well so if either of you have someone that we can raid let me know let me know and when we raid someone, copy this uh, message that I just copied onto the chat. They have oh! one. You have one, Fatima? Oh, no, no, the um, MQG. Okay, MQG. MQ All right. MQ. All right, MQG. Uh, Slam a cow. Slam a cow. We got you. I got you. <laughs> we, we love Slam a cow. All right. Uh, special request from MQG. We're gonna send the love over to Slam McAlzer, who is another JRPG streamer like myself. Hey. So we're gonna go send the love over to him. So let's do that now. Slam. Uh. Bye guys. Bye everybody. All right. Ice, thank you for having costume. us. Of course, yes. of course, always not a problem. And until next time, guys, y'all enjoy your Friday. I'll be back live. Oh yeah. Before I forget, I'll be back live tomorrow playing some Fortnite, and I got a, a special Ooh. announcement uh, uh, that day. It's also going to be my two-year affiliate anniversary. So yes, oh congratulations! Damn, Thank it's been two years already. Two years, oh, two wow. years. Yep. Well, it was two years Thursday, but I had to work. So fair enough. Fair enough. They don't have to know that. Uh, let me. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, uh, two year for the anniversary. Gonna be a couple of giveaways, and I have an announcement. So y'all, y'all gonna want to tune into that tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, rather. 
Well, until then, uh, y'all take care. We are signing out. Go enjoy Mr. Slam and Cowser. Ha, ha, ha.